Rishi Sunak is preparing to present himself as the future prime minister and leader and a defender of Thatcherism by giving us some tax cuts. Right, see, I told you, we're going to give you some good news as well throughout the whole day. In previous videos, we had some negativity. We have Rishi Sunak, who is trying to do a couple of things. Promising future tax cuts, but also cutting the civil service. Finally, okay, I'm going to analyze this or my view on this issue and why he's doing it. Because, you know, don't be fooled, politicians also have their own agenda. But in terms of the outcome, if this happens, I don't care why he's doing it. I'm happy. I'm going to support it. Fine. Rishi Sunak, well done for at least announcing this cut to thousands of civil service jobs. Now, of course, one of the main things that we have to point out is that since Dominic Cummings left Downing Street, this whole agenda of uh, draining the swamp of Whitehall has kind of stopped because that's what they were doing beforehand. But this is a good start and it makes, explains why. I, remember, I don't know if you guys remember a couple of weeks ago I made a video saying that Dominic Cummings is uh, allegedly <laughs> a backing team Rishi. Uh, for next leadership because that makes sense you know he's always been supportive of uh, his mentality and his agenda so that's that's exactly what we need to do one thing that he needs to make sure of is not just to go after the red tape that we have but also just general numbers of civil servants go after the top senior civil servants we have a lot of incompetent and expensive civil servants up there that need to answer some questions now of course who's kicking off do you know who's angry Trade unions are not happy. Trade unions love their civil servants, love their admins. They have said that these cuts may undermine Prime Minister Boris Johnson's effort to spread civil servant positions to the left behind areas, according to trade unions. Trade unions are defending Boris Johnson. <laughs> oh no. Okay, this, this is a clown world. I mean, it's not even 2022 yet. That, that year is gonna be crazy anyway, but not only they're defending Boris, they're doing this patronizing left behind areas that uh, Boris has been doing the same with the leveling up nonsense, Northern powerhouse nonsense, or sending Tory HQ to North because, oh, the Northerners will know that Tories like them. Stop patronizing the Northerners. Stop patronizing the working classes in Essex or other places in Cornwall or other areas, I don't care where, or in Wales, just to get votes. These people don't want to be patronized. They're not kids. They're not stupid. We are not stupid as voters. Just give them a normal life, a, a safe, secure and free life and have your basic safety net and strong public services. Otherwise, get out of people's lives. Do not tell people how to live. If Rishi Sunak continues his agenda and if he's genuine, for whatever reason, I don't care because we know that you know he's ambitious to become the next leader. It's fine. I'll be supportive of the mission. Never follow a figure. Follow the idea. I'm never going to be following figures. I always follow the idea. Just like how when I backed Boris Johnson in 2019, I was backing Get Brexit Done. Obviously via Boris Johnson as the candidate. Never follow an idol because they always let you down. People are not perfect humans, including me, including yourself. So let's see how Rishi does. Wish him luck. Otherwise, if he messes up, I'm going to criticize him again because he's still part of his cabinet. Let's not forget, he's still part of Team Boris and he has a chancellor. He's raised taxes a lot. So I'm going to be objective. We will criticize and praise when needed. Stay tuned for more updates throughout the evening. I'm Maya TC and we are the media.